Welcome back to Fig Tree Farm. When we started our journey back in the dark depths of winter, spring seemed so far away, but it's now mid-April and spring's well and truly sprung. The race to get plants in the ground has started, but let's first rewind to where our last episode left off in mid-March. So we're back in the polytunnel, and we're back building things. We want our polytunnel to be multi-purpose, we need a lot of staging for pots as we plan to sell plants at the local market. But later in the season we need bed space for growing veg. We had some timber left over from building the cold frame which we used to build some raised beds that were the perfect size to act as staging for the soak trays which we could then remove to uncover the beds below as our pots reduce throughout the season. Our polytunnel also has to act as storage space while we wait for the ground to dry up so that we can build a shed to house our tools. We got to work filling the beds and then to stop the grass from growing on the side of them we laid down some cardboard and a thick layer of wood chip as mulch. It was then finally time to plant our first polytunnel crop. First one, first polytunnel plant planted. We definitely didn't just plant it and then take it out and then put it back in for the video, did we? <laughs> there he is. Some bok choy. We also planted some radishes along with it. I couldn't believe how fast both the bok choy and the radishes grew. And before long, it was time to harvest. So this guy looks pretty good here. And this guy here? That's the first harvest. First harvest from Fig Tree Farm. Yeah. Awesome. I think as a beginner gardener, one of the most daunting aspects of it is composting. There's so much science that goes into it. Well, this year we're winging it and chucking together whatever we have, horse manure, coffee grounds, grass clippings, wood chip. We're just chucking it all together and seeing what works. I think next year I'm going to spend some time researching how to make great compost because we're going to need a lot of it. It's looking good. Tasty. One great thing about a polytunnel is that rain doesn't stop play. Rainy days were spent potting up and chatting to our allotment neighbours Will and Ruth as we sheltered from the downpour together. By March 24th we had just enough plants to sell so we packed the car and set off to the local car boot sale. We don't really make much money from the stall, but it's a nice way to fund the allotment and you meet so many lovely people. Our first sale of the year was to a little kid who asked his mum if he could buy a crocus to plant in his garden. She bought it for him, but told him he could only have it if he was well behaved for the rest of the day. I hope my kid turns out to be as excited about plants as he was. Many people have bought tomato plants from us last year and told us how big they'd grown. If only we could remember which variety we grew. By early April, we were packing two full cars full of plants to take to market. It's perfect. <laughs> Go on then, let's see if they fit. Reading everybody. Hey. That afternoon, we made the most of the sun. Our fig tree was looking a little lonely, so we decided to give him some friends. Audrey helped us plant an apple, plum and pear tree. We planned to plant wildflowers and make a bug habitat between them. We found out afterwards that pear trees need to be planted within 18 metres of another pear tree for pollination. But, luckily, it turns out that two have just been planted in the neighbouring plot. Next, we got to work planting potatoes. We've never planted no-dig potatoes before, so we're excited to see how these turn out. We've planted a wide variety, including a few rows of mystery potatoes which had sprouted in our cupboard. We were too tired that afternoon to cover over the potatoes with a proper layer of compost, so we just mounded them over and added more compost at a later date. So 
So that brings us up to the first week of April. If you've enjoyed the video, please click the like button and subscribe. It really helps our channel grow. Pun very much intended. Thanks for watching and we'll see you soon at Fig Tree Farm.